Hello and uh, welcome to a new tutorial on how to make a mobile joystick in Scratch. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic mobile joystick, which you can move around. Yeah, pretty cool. And it's really easy to use, you can just basically drop it in any of your games. I hope you're excited for this tutorial, so uh, let's get started. First, click on create to create a new project, and just name it. I'm just gonna name it uh, mobile joystick. <laughs> not, not in caps, whoops. Mobile joystick. Okay, we're gonna keep Scratch Cat and make a new sprite. Just call it stick. Okay, now just make a circle with no outline. With the size of around 120 by 120 pixels, you can keep the perfect circle by holding shift. This one is way too big, so I'm gonna size it down using the sizing tool. Tip. Yes, this is perfect. I'll make it fully black. And now just copy and paste this one with another circle. And this is the hard bit. Just give it an outline of 10, remove the fill, and just snap it the send to here, and then just by holding Alt, just grab this and just drag it until there's a tiny bit between it. Now we have a nice base for the joystick. So name it just base. Make another new costume, call it stick. There's no outline, it's gonna be white with no outline. And it's gonna be around 30 by 30 pixels. Yes. Okay. And now just switch it to the base costume and just drag the joystick into a place where you want the joystick. I want it here. So just make okay, a flat clicked. Go to that position and just uh, switch custom to the base and go to front layer to give the front of all the other things. Okay, that's just uh, does basically nothing, but it just uh, initializes it went in another position. It basically just uh, sets things up. Now just create a good joystick. Just in the green flag, click create clone for myself. When I start the clone, go to front layer. Okay? And also switch custom to stick. That basically just brings you the joystick here. And now just make it go to the mouse. Forever, go to mouse pointer. Now the joystick is always at my mouse, but there are some uh, problems. Even if I don't hold the mouse, it goes to my mouse and it can, can go way far uh, to places where I don't need to go. So let's just first make it so we don't, uh, we can't just go uh, everywhere. And just put a if mouse down amount to go to mouse pointer. Now only, that only goes to the Mouse is the mouse is down. Okay, but we want to uh, bring it back to the center if you uh, please it. To do that, first wait until not mouse down to make sure you don't uh, try to stick when you start the project. And then just forever, first wait, un wait until mouse down. Then and then just repeat until not mouse down, go to mouse pointer. And here we want to bring it back to the position of the stick. We can't use the same go to block, but it's way easier. We have a way easier way. Get it to the cat, get a go to, and just set a go to stick. And get that into the joystick. Now here, just 
put that here. And yes, that does the trick. Now make it so you can't basically just put the joystick in place of it obviously should be. To do that, just point toward mouse pointer and move distance to mouse pointer steps. But now this does the same, but this makes it easier to uh, limit this position. Okay, to limit this position, make a new variable and stick power on sprites and just set stick power to distance to mouse pointer and just move the power steps. But before that, put a if. Distance to mouse pointer is greater than, but greater than how much? Well, how wide is your base costume? Minus 137, that's roughly 140. But if you, uh, and if you divide it by two, that's 70. So if this is the mouse pointer is greater than 70, then just set stick power to 70. And move the power steps. But, but first make sure to also put a go to stick in the appeal to not mouse down at the start. Okay, that uh, that does it. That was the trick. Yay! Okay, now the joystick works. We want to read some data of it so we can uh, move a sprite based on it. Okay, to do that, just uh, make three new variables. Stick X for all sprites, stick Y for all sprites, and stick direction for all sprites. Okay, and uh, here just set stick direction is easy. Set stick direction just to direction here. Okay, now the stick direction should say the uh, right value of the direction of the stick. Now let's do the stick X and Y. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. Just set, after the move step, set stick X to subtract. X position on the left. And the right, we're gonna Go to cat again and get a backdrop, backdrop stage and switch the stage to stick and get the X position it automatically says it for me. I put it in the stick and you can delete it just here. And put that on the white right side. Duplicate the blocks. Set stick Y to Y position. Subtract. Y position stick and uh, if you check it out, we should also for working stick X and stick Y variable. Yay! The reason this works is because if you try to get the X position of yourself, it always checks the X position of the main sprite. Hmm, useful. But if we leave the joystick, the variable set. Uh, Keep the same. We want them to uh, reset. So just get a set stick X, stick direction, set stick power, set stick X, and a stick set stick Y, and all set them to blank at the start. Not zero, just nothing. And now if we leave the joystick it resets. But if you look at the stick power, stick x, stick y variable, you see they are max, max they can reach a 70. It will be way easier to use if this was basically just 1. Pretty easy, just to write the stick x by 70. And just also do that for stick y. And just set stick 
power to stick power divided by 70. Okay, now they're between 0 and 1. Nice. Now let's make the get booth move based on my joystick movement. Now it's my green flag clicked forever. Change X by, change Y by, multiplied by, multiply, stick X, multiply, and stick Y, and multiply them both by 5. If we do that, now we can move the, the cat with the joystick. Nice! But if we uh, click the green flag again, the cat keeps the same position. J just uh, go to 0 at the beginning, it's a pretty easy fix. Okay, but, it, but if you click somewhere on the stick, right here, they will immediately go there. And this can be a bit frustrating. Like if you're about to do a jump, click somewhere, but and then automatically move where you don't want it. So uh, let's just fix that. To do that, just when green flag clicked forever, just wait until not mouse down, and then wait until now wait until mouse down. Get another wait until not mouse down. And put at the end. In the first position, just put in the first place, just put it at put it here. And, then, and after that, put just go to mouse pointer. Yes, that's pretty nice. But we can just click everywhere. Yes, you can start the joystick everywhere, even if we are. Yes, you might want this, but I'm first gonna, but I'm uh, gonna show you how to not to do this. Just wait until mouse down, and distance to mouse pointer is less than seventy. So uh, less than seventy, the distance to mouse pointer, and also put that in the. In this script here, okay. Now it doesn't move when we click anywhere, and we can still move it, and it just works completely fine. Okay, cool. But there's another thing which is which is in a lot of games. That's when you use the joystick, when you don't use the joystick, it becomes a bit transparent. To do that, get a wing green flag clicked forever. If else, get a greater than blank, stick power is greater than blank. If that's the case, so just set ghost effect to 10. I'll set ghost effect to 35. And uh, yes, that works. Nice. Okay, but in a lot of a lot of games, if you click anywhere, the joystick starts to move, just what you saw earlier. You might want to do that in your game, and it's uh, pretty easy to do. Just remove the distant mouse pointer which we added earlier. And, and now... Yes, you can click anywhere to drag again. Nice. But it, when we stop dragging, it always goes back to that position. We want it to be hidden when we don't do anything. So just put a height here and a show here. Also, put a height here and a show in here. And yes, the box. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. And uh, bye.